Gamabelle. Gamabelle. Um, I got an email from a guy called, let me just check it out. Bruce Carter saying, hey, always watch your videos. Keep plugging, I'm using stocks to trade. Basically, it goes through his kind of scan setup, and then he's asking me about mine. Um, he says, I also check Oracle, looking for larger profit potential. Um, I'm looking for advice to find some stocks, any advice on scans that you can use. And then he goes on to say, um, I've spent some money on platforms. I'm onto my third one, but stocks to trade is the best. And this guy is from Bruce Carter on Ontario, Canada. Um, and I think that's where the crack cocaine mayor was. So you will not see me in this video. It's um, more just me um, giving some advice because I regularly, regularly get questions on what platform I'm using, um, how I trade, what screen has I set up, how I've been learning, what I've been studying. And I thought instead of answering the same question again and again, I've even gone as far as giving people Skype demonstrations just to help people. Um, I'm just gonna make a video and then refer everyone to this video. So if you're watching this video and I've referred you, then that is the purpose why I created this and it's a job well done. Pat on the back, Stevie J. So very easy to set up a screener on stocks to trade. Uh, there's a huge amount of criteria and different variables that you can use to create up a, a scan on stocks to trade, but it's extremely simplistic to do so. Um, I'm just gonna take you through the parameters You've got your basic criteria and then you can base it also on catalyst and then after that you've got what markets you want to scan through on the screener then what sectors this is my watch lists and then the different stock types so you can click through each of these different variables edit them update them and then it will basically filter down maybe thousands or millions of stocks into whatever stocks meet your selected criteria in that moment live. And the great thing about a screener is, and as it hits that criteria, it pops up on the screen live. So you can just click it and hit play the fastest, hottest stock. And uh, and yeah, this is how I catch the hottest stocks. This is how I catch the stocks that move. This is how I find out about the stocks that are have earnings. So now let me just set you through, set up a scan, a basic scan. I'll do it quite quick. Um, because I've done these millions of times. When I look at stocks, basically I look at stocks up more than $1. I don't like stocks below $1 because, well, I get charged extra commissions from the broker and I just think they're a bit unpredictable. Um, that's just me though. And then I want them under $10 because when you're playing with a balance of five, dollars $6,000, buying the higher priced stocks, one, I think they're less predictable and two, I think that they are um, out of my price range a little bit. So that's more than one, less than 10. And then I want stocks obviously that are volatile and that are up on the day. So I don't want to play stocks that are down on the day because if you try and buy a stock that's red, guess what, you're probably going to lose on it because it's in a downtrend. If, if you're a trend trader, you want to buy stocks that are up. So I want stocks that are at least up 10% on the day. And then after that, I will be looking at liquidity. I only want to trade stocks that have volume. If it's illiquid, if it doesn't have traders attention, no one probably gives a shit about it and it's got no momentum so it's not going to follow any trend. So in order to, to adhere to these basic principles, it needs to have a volume of more than maybe 600,000 shares traded in a day. And on top of that, it also needs to have traded because you can have one trade that's traded 600,000 shares if it's a kind of a big purchase. Now, I want at least a 1,000 individual trades amounting to at least more than 600,000 shares traded. So I'll add that in as well. Now, after that, we can look into the technical overlays. Nothing that interests me for now. Float, you can kind of add in. But the basic principles are in between $1 and $10, up more than 10%, and trade more than 600,000 volume, over 10,000 trades. If you want, you can say, and I want it to have earnings in the last 24 hours, or, or even today or the last 72 hours. You can say, I don't want to trade OTCs because they're difficult to get, to get in and out of with my broker, just on ticket. And then the rest, I'd, I'd say, I only want to trade technology stocks because that's what I do the best on, or the tech sector's hot. Whatever, you can narrow your, your search down in different ways. So if I was just to run that, it would show me all of the stocks. And the great thing about a screen is if, it will literally push these stocks up as they fit your criteria. So you'll know, is it a quiet day? Is it a busy day? What hot, what stocks are hot between one and $10, et cetera, et cetera. And then from there, you can kind of click through them. 
think Zeno is hot, I'm going to add it into my watch list. Just go into Friday's watch list and type in Zeno and, and kaboom, there it is. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back onto the screener and I'm going to show you kind of some of my basic screens that I run. Uh, so one of the stocks, the screeners that I run is pre-market just in the morning. And this is exactly what I've just showed you, but it's lower volume, lower trades and lower percent increase because I'm just catching the stocks that are moving in that morning. OK, and um, the other kind of basic stocks that I use is, again, what I've just taken you through step by step, one in ten dollars, roughly six hundred, seven hundred thousand shares. But what I like to do is split the shares up by float. So low float is less than ten million. Medium float, more than 10 and less than 50 million, and high float, more than 50 million, less than a billion, or 900 million. And the reason I do this is because I want to know if a stock, if it's a low float, less than 10 million, has it got the capacity to really, really run on high volume? Um, but I still look at the medium and high float stocks, but I give them less priority. And the reason I do that is because the higher float stocks are going to need an incredible amount more volume just to kind of have the same volatility that a lower float stock would have. And the final, most important scans that I would say I look at is the movers. And again, it's one in 10, more than 600,000 shares. All of these basic elements, these are the fundamentals that all stay the same. But what changes on the fast movers is I want a stock that's moved more than 3% in the last 30 minutes. And this is going to capture the breakouts. This is going to capture the hot stocks just moving in the last 30 minutes. This is going to capture the stocks that are running into the close. Or this is going to capture the short squeezes as they happen or the breaking news. This is where you'll catch all of this information on stocks to trade. And it will literally pop up as it happens if you have this scan running live on the screen. And on a busy day, sometimes you have a lot of movers. So guess what? I named another screen I called Fast Movers. You'll never guess what it's for. It's for Fast Movers. And that's stocks up 3% in the last five minutes. And that's incredibly volatile stocks again only between one and ten and the last one is stocks that fit basic criteria but they've had earnings in the last 72 hours so i can check all of the earnings winners just at a glance and then from there uh see what stocks pop up i add them in the watch lists and then i just follow them and then if it's really interesting i'll put them in maybe a solid breakout categories well stock tracks more longer term but that's a lesson for another day Hope you enjoyed the video lesson. I hope you enjoyed the preview on stocks to trade. I'll see you all later.